Fright Club. First rule of Fright Club, you do not talk about Fright Club. Second rule of Fright Club, you do not talk about Fright Club. Third rule of Fright Club, if this is your first time frighting, fright, fright, fright. Asparagus. Hey, just, uh, one of my toys. It's a glow-in-the-dark, uh, skeleton from Darkstalkers. Uh, really cool. The glow doesn't seem to work really well on this really bad web camera. If you, uh, play Darkstalkers, it's, uh, Victor's, uh, father, creator, character. Okay. Um, here to do a video review of, uh, Halloween. Both the original 1970 film and the, uh, 2007 remake by Rob Zombie. Uh, where to begin? Uh, I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet. <laughs> okay, original. the original film is kind of like the my first horror film. It's not really offensive, and it's not over the top. Actually, it's really more rock solid. It's, um, as much as the 80s were going into this supernatural aspect where monsters like Child's Play or Shocker or uh, just some pretty bland generic well, not bland generic, but they just went more into like the vi more to the visual style. Halloween is more rock solid. It's more this grounded in reality. As much until like the later ones went into the occult and you know, which kind of seems a little bit more believable. Um, so um, what's really remarkable is uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's performance. She, you know, her role doesn't have much to do with it other than just be frightened and scared and a little bit heroic at the last minute um but still she adds a little bit more to her performance in her reaction to her friends and how she how she performs she, she's really good she's remarkably good i mean like personally for me i i prefer comedies like trading places or you know some of her classic films where she takes her top off uh, but but still it's really iconic her performance and it Pretty much set the standard towards these virginal characters. Um, uh, there's no real one scene that I personally love. I think like the movie as a whole is such a experience. It's a movie kind of like a bar mitzvah of a film. It, it's like you're you have to experience it. And for me, like the movie just it's fun to show to people, first timers whenever they want, like people who don't know horror films, this is a great, excellent example of how to show a good show a good horror film. Then immediately show part two, which just has a nice roll into it. Um, um, if, if you did have to twist my arm, my favorite scene is the part where uh, PJ Souls uh, is showing her top off to uh, Michael Myers. It's, it's on the right level of dumb, but also disturbing towards the character and Michael Myers when he eventually does kill her. But it just, it, it's its such an interesting thing. Alright, now onto the Rob Zombie one. 2007 remake, I didn't see this originally when it came out. Uh, a friend of mine saw it, he was a huge, huge friend, fan, I, I took his recommendation. He didn't quite like it, and I took his recommendation, so I, I skipped the movie altogether. This is my first time seeing it. Um, you know, for me personally, I, I discovered Rob Zombie when I was 15 years old. Uh, it was during the release of More Human Than Human music video on MTV, and I, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, friends told me that he was an artist, and I got to see his work, and I didn't like it. I, I thought it was pretty bad. <laughs> but still, overall, I, I generally am encouraging of him in almost anything. Uh, I, I, enjoy a lot of, I enjoy a lot of his stuff. I'll enjoy one of, uh, a couple of his songs. I don't love him like a lot of friends, a lot of my friends do, but there's something about his enthusiasm that's honest, you know, he, he's a nerd just like everyone else. I remember a friend of mine went to see one of his concerts and he forgot the lyrics to his song and he just started chanting, evil dead, evil dead, evil dead, and the crowd went nuts. Which again, goes to show you, like, I respect a guy like that because he's one of us. Alright, on to the movie. First I'm just gonna get on to the bad, just... Let's just pull off this band-aid. Um, the acting's really bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, it's like a first-time acting troupe, you know, not really getting a feel towards each one of the performances. 
um, stacked together next to one another. Best example is Brad Dourif and Malcolm McDowell. Brad Dourif would be my dream Joker actor. Keep that in mind whenever you think of me and I'm drawing Joker. But um, um, Brad Dourif and Malcolm McDowell's performances, the, their scenes, they're 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 kind of anxious to to go to this to the next scene, but there's this kind of hesitation where they, they look like they're waiting for each other's lines to finish. Now, there's a lot of problems with it because some of the lines are, um, some of the Im improving is pretty bad. I mean, like, there's some pretty good stuff. I mean, there's some actors who are doing a really good job. The, the cast is really, really great. I mean, like, seriously, all things considered, when you look at it and the acting's not that good, it's a bit of a disappointment. But this is the genre. I mean, this genre um, of slasher films, the reason why they all got cast is, you know, it's just a walk on part, and it would be no different than uh, than Scream or something like that. Um, I, I do feel that the actress who plays Laurie is not as good as uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, not even not even in the slightest. Th there is a point where the whole improv thing that I was mentioning before kind of takes effect into her and she's trying to overact some scenes she's trying to overact a lot of scenes and it's I think it might be the nature of the set you know maybe Rob Zombie doesn't really know how to coach his actors I think he does a better job uh, with his wife um, <laughs> not because she gets to go naked but her acting her acting is pretty good her acting is I, I thought it was remarkable uh, for what she was doing and a lot of and the young boy who plays as uh, Michael Myers is really good I I liked him a lot um, but the the girl who plays Laurie is the, the, the moments where she's like jumping in enthusiasm just feel so horrible <laughs> they're really bad and um, I, I really felt like Nev Campbell in the movie scream is a better example of how to handle this character and kind of lead her onto a path into like a hero and one of my biggest complaints about the movie is it could have been chopped down 30 minutes less I honestly like the film a lot um, I felt it's thick with atmosphere it, like a big chocolate mousse uh, the music selection is really really enjoyable especially my favorite part is the part where uh, they play the song Love Hurts when Michael Myers uh, gets rejected by his sister to take him out trick or treating the film, um, the film, I really, really feel like the movie would work if it was on mute. The whole, uh, I mean, the dialogue was on mute and you had that music playing. It's, it's pretty good. I thought it was good. Now, the thing is, it's not blasphemous to make a remake of this film. I really feel like the Halloween franchise has been burnt and they poured salt on its remains. I really feel like, um... H2O was the last good one. Even when they tried to, like... Like, part three, where they uh, had the exploding head things, the melting heads, uh, masks. You know, that that was the most original change that they did. And it was such a failure, because everyone wanted to see Michael Myers. And this film does a really good job playing pain tribute to all those key scenes that they love. The problem is, maybe people thought... Rob Zombie went a little bit too self-indulgent. I don't think so. I think it's kind of... He, he wanted to pay, pay tribute to these tropes, to these kind of genre things. I mean, like, his cast is amazing. It's pretty good. I, I, I don't know. I mean, like, kind of am baffled by this. You know, it's... Uh, maybe I am a little bit too nice to Rob Zombie, but... Go figure. Alright, but, um... <laughs> All right, that that's really what I have to say about the movie. Um, last, I um, last thing I just want to recommend: um, if you like this style, like this whole remake kind of like eh, former style, I really re uh, recommend you to see 2009's House of the Devil. It's a lot better. I mean, like the thing that kind of bothered me were the girls. You know, it just didn't feel like they came from the 70s. And if you see like House House of the Devil, you you see like these women look like they're from the 70s. They, they really look like they're from the 70s. I don't know how they did it. They, they look like they they would go to act on Suspiria next, or Phantom of Paradise. You know, it's, it's not a great film, but it, it has that style if you like it. 
Uh, another another recommendation I I rented this movie off of uh, Amazon Amazon's uh, instant streaming uh, for three bucks. Highly recommend you uh, check it out. Um, the selection's not that great, but you know they're just trying it out. I mean, if you can't find it on Netflix streaming or you can't wait for the DVD, three bucks is pretty good, and the quality was really nice. I I highly recommend it. So check it out if you can. All right, that's it for me.